guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Today we are going to be playing some more Fran Bo and it's been a long time since I've filmed the last so I don't remember much of what happened. Um, there was a party and it was back. Uh, this is it was bicycle or mine. I have no idea. It's broken so I can't write it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Right, I have no idea what the mission is. Uh, we have matches, a crayon, a family photo, the journal. That took me, like, a whole episode to read. The secret thing, a knife, and Mr. Midnight. Um. I wonder why Palomas gave me this. I can't open it. Okay. Let's can't be done okay i thought maybe i could i thought maybe i could open it i wonder what would happen if i find the key okay i feel like there's a key in here oh my goodness this is our street kitty hey street Yes, it is. Oh, that's Kitty. Wait, so... How did I get home? Okay, I don't see anything I can click on here. How did I get home? And here we are. This looks much more grey than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. I'm sure she will be. She'll actually probably be freaked out because you escaped from the asylum. Um, the flowers are quite dead. Too bad, I hope it rains. Aunt Grace isn't taking care of her plants. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Okay, can I put it down? No. Um, I took the key. Fran. Fran, that's me. Yeah. Okay, so she doesn't remember writing that. Wait, why does she have the key now? Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have a kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. What? Let's find it. Can I climb? There's a window to my room, okay. Closed window, no monsters hiding behind it. Surely I can break in somehow. Because if I took the key, you must climb and go through the window. Okay. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, oh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Oh, Mrs. Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> the cat on the roof. I love the way the hair stands up. So, Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. <gasps> That's Dr. Dern. Fran, I can't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Uh. I. Was on a holiday. I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? You really did not guard the door that well. I just walked through the door. You gotta up your game, boy. But why are you outside the house? Because I can't get in the house. That's a stupid question to ask. You climbed and went through the window to the second floor. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? We found each other in the end. Why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home. It may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. What? This is kidnapping. I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. Oh my gosh, I knew it! Mr. Midnight isn't real! He will open the door in a minute. Face reality. Your cat is dead. Oh, no. 
Oh my gosh, no. No! This is kidnapping! He's kidnapping me. This is a crime. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. Can I, like, jump out the window? <laughs> jump out of a moving car? Um, I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. He made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is. Why would I lie about that? I feel so wrong. Um, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things I do not understand. I thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Oh my gosh. Martin and Lucia Bow Dagnahart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Hilmer, said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims may have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Damn. Beloved Fran Bo. Oh my gosh. This is 19... 44? Fran is now free from the pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm not even real. Gladys Hannah. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bow. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding her parents' murder. I'm not dead. And I'm not free from the pain. Besides, pain is nice. It tells me that something is wrong. At least I picked a nice picture of me. Oh, this one. <laughs> I was like, um. <laughs> but I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I also found out that your medication was switched. You were given new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplasmatin were too high. That can't be good. Oh, sir, it is not good. You should see what I see. Ectoplasmatin creates the door between the subconscious and conscience. The problem is if the ectoplas- Why is it such a complicated word to say? If the ectoplasma is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the alter reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Alter reality. That must be the consequences of duty, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need the medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I might be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining things. That's all. Ah! <laughs> I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh dear lord, Fran's the murderer! She's a murderer! I don't want my father to play with his knife again, my arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with a knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or oh, didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it? Oh my goodness, then it's true! Please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me! I'm reading this so intensely. <laughs> we need to find out the truth. Yeah. I wonder who's behind it all. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Romar. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Istropara with Palantras and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? <laughs> Please, Brad, I'm serious. It does sound crazy though. Like we've been on this journey with Fran, but it sounds absolutely bananas. I never say goodbye to Edward or Palomatris, and my kitty is all alone. 
Palantras, Edward, please run. Palantras is a doctor of Istarapada. He is a flying creature, very floppy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Uh, it's Mia and Clara. Clara. Same thing. Oh my gosh! Ah! He knows! He knows them! Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. So, the twins were in the asylum as well. What happened to the girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. We saw them. We saw them in the asylum, I remember. Mostly to see their reaction to the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. What am I supposed to do? I'm like 10. Maybe we can find something that would lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palomtris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. <laughs> That's insulting. <laughs> following the rules? Well, not tonight. Oh my gosh, you did not take me to a cemetery. This is terrible! This man kidnapped me and took me to a cemetery! Made me leave my cat all alone! But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Don't follow him, Bran. Girl! <laughs> Girl, get in the car! <laughs> drive, Bran, drive! Yes, take the crowbar. You can knock him over the head with it. Um, Can I hoot it? Okay. Uh, it's a clicking game, so I shall click everywhere I possibly can. Okay. Um. Wow, hello, stone woman. Okay. I don't want to go to the cemetery. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Uh... Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how... But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Well... Then who killed them? What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviours and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Oh. Oh, no. I'll help. Maybe the deadly ones came already. No. Those are maggots, by the way. Who? Anyways, we have to find shovels to dig. That's terrible. You kidnap a little girl from her house. You don't let her take her cat with. You show her an article stating she's dead. You take her to a cemetery and now you're going to dig up her parents' grave. Who were brutally murdered in their own house. This is not okay. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, okay? Yes, Dr. Doan, I'll see you soon. No, he's... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Girl? Haven't you rested enough already? <sighs> Martin Bow, Lucia Bow, Daghart, Fran Bow, Daghart. Dagenhart. Daughter, mother, father. So the father was 43. The mother was... 39. Oh, I have uh, candles. Let's see if I can use... I mean matches. I have matches. Yay! Memorial. I've got an achievement. 
Okay. It's a dead rose. Hmm. I guess we're gonna look for a shovel. This is wrong. This is not okay. Oh, it's stuck. That's why we have a crowbar. Open the door. Open it. <gasps> it's the pine cones. You have to keep it down, Fabio. <laughs> but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. Well done. Okay. Wait. Oh my goodness! A giant. Yes. I am very large and in charge. Don't be scared, I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. Uh, I have big eyes. All the better to see you with, my dear. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. What do you collect? We're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. <laughs> what? That's quite interesting, shiny leather. Uh, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. I hope you can find the leather. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor. I was thinking that you can open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, Miss Giant? Oh, where do I find it? We just need a little bit. Hmm. No name, no flowers. Leather, no. Okay. Um, I thought I could use a leather book. Apparently no. Hmm. The car, the uh, the car, the car, the car, the car. Ha ha! I am smart. I am very very smart. I knew that there had to be more to the car, than just the crowbar. And I feel like there has to be something here too. Here we go, Sebastian. Aww, it's so cute. Well, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pinesulus, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pinecone. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian? Okay, I thought you, like, died. He's already in a cemetery, so... Um, thank you for opening the door. You're welcome. Fabio! Fabio, <laughs> get back! <laughs> Where's he going? I have to go. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. <laughs> ah, there's nothing in here I could use. What? You can use a broom. That makes no sense. Why open it if you can't use anything? Okay, let's go see if we can... Okay, cool. Uh, they are Fran. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Oh my gosh. This is not okay. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Hmm... Well, now we have to come up with something to open the coffin. They're stuck. I have a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Sorry. I took the crowbar. Uh, do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors. This is not an honor. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. 
it. <laughs> I'm guessing this is my father. I'm guessing this is my mother. And this is... <gasps> no! Mr. Midnight! Oh, I'm not even reading. I'm in shock. Um, I told you your cat was missing and maybe this is actually your cat. Can't be. I found my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home. I'll show you. Oh, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I just thought you found some clues. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, I hate this. No. Okay, this sounds terrible. I would have been okay if it was Fran in the coffin. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you anymore. <laughs> I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Oh my. You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. 